So it's 6.48 a.m. and I gotta do this really quick because our boat is coming over there. But uh, today we're doing a lionfish hunt off of um, a site that's not really visited a lot. Um, lionfish are invasive to this area in the Atlantic Ocean. So we go hunt to uh, basically help eliminate them from this ecosystem and make it healthier. But uh, it should be a really cool dive. We're going to a few spots that are um, really not visited that often. And we're going there because it's probably where the lionfish are, but it should be a cool day. Um, there's some really cool sights, but today we're, or right now, we're about to go pack the boat. So I should better go do that before I get in trouble I'm trying to do that. So we just got back to the dock, just put all of our gear away. We put all of our lionfish in a bin and we're gonna come back in like an hour or two to do a bunch of dissections. So hi, this is uh, Editing Eli. I'm editing this video right now and I wanted to further explain a little bit about the dissection and what we're doing at the Whale Shark Center. So basically we go and learn as much about the lionfish as we can with limited, the limited materials that we have in a developing country at this organization that doesn't have a ton of funding. But um, so basically we take some basic measurements like the weight and the total length of the fish plus the standard length of the fish which can tell us a little bit about the growth. We can't tell exactly the growth and age of the um, animal because we aren't able to process that kind of data. So all we can get is the length and the weight. Um, we also make sure we take off the all the spines. There's a lot of um, venomous spines on their back and also in their pectoral and their anal fins. We have to remove all of those um, because lionfish are 
very, very painful if you actually get stung by them. They're a type of scorpion fish. We also go ahead and dissect the stomach contents. So we take out the stomach and see exactly what they're eating on the reef. So as an organization interested in conservation of organisms on coral reefs, we want to know exactly what the lionfish are really affecting. If they're choosing to target any specific species, if there's any species that are particularly vulnerable to the lionfish, and what they're eating. And it turns out they eat basically anything. Um, there's a little clip here that is um, not for the faint of heart. It's kind of gross, but um, you can see he pulls out a file fish and then um, some other miscellaneous fish that you can't really um, figure out what it is exactly because it's so digested. But um, they'll eat basically anything. But we go and see their stomach contents. We also see, um, I don't have any videos of it because it's pretty, um, graphic as well. We uh, go see their gonads and basically see what sex they are and if they are mature or not. Um, and this kind of helps us realize, I don't know, the basic age of lionfish in the location where we took them from, if it's a potential nursery or if there's lots of um, breeding happening potentially in this environment. And at the end, of course, we uh, fillet them and get the meat off of them because we always want to encourage people eating lionfish because if you're supporting the market for taking lionfish out of the ecosystem, then it's going to be beneficial for everyone that relies on the reef. So we want lionfish out of the Caribbean. We do not like them here, so we're doing everything we can to learn about them and learn how we can continue to remove them from ecosystems. Um, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say about the dissections. Really interesting work that we do at the Whale Shark Center to continue removing them and protecting our reefs. Thank you, and back to your regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> it's about 4.30 now. We just finished our all the dissections. That was a lot of lionfish i think we had like 30 or 40 i was on fillets and still definitely smell like fish and covered in scales but a really awesome day i don't know if i'm actually going to be eating any lionfish tonight just because i don't really know how to cook and um i might go get some at the lodge but um regardless it was such an awesome day and some really really incredible dives I am starting to get a little tired, and ooh, this is a little, whoop, a little uh, foggy there. But um, headed up to the apartment now, and probably going to sit down and just uh, talk about the day a little bit and go get some food before we end the day, probably really early because I'm really tired. <sighs> but yeah, I'm gonna start the long trek. Up the road.